Hello everyone, my name is Sokrat Dobenjo and I'm the social media director at RSN. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the RSN Freestyle Football Championship. And we have a young refugee from Chakatu Refugee Settlement in Uganda, who is our winner of the RSN Freestyle Football Championship 2024. We are going to listen and talk with him a lot today, and you're going to hear from him. Hello everyone, my name is Shama Amani, I'm from Chakatu Refugee Settlement, and today I'm with Socrates Dobenjo. Thank you so much. So, my bro, uh, congratulations first of all to be the winner of the RSN Freestyle Football Championship 2024. I congratulate you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for putting Chaka on the map, and this is the first freestyle ever Chaka has participated in. And without going far, I'm going to go with the first question that you are going to answer so that our audience will understand what happened and what the impact of the RSN Freestyle Football Championship. Can you tell us about your engagement with the Freestyle Football Championship? Well, <clears throat> Freestyle Football Championship has pushed me to discover myself. Uh, it pushed me to work more and more on my talents yes. and do more freestyle, more freestyle, eh? mm. and more to develop more skills. And uh, it's helped me to stay focused on what I'm working on. Yeah, that's okay. It. Thank you so much. That's a very big impact because I know it's the refugees in Chaka, most of them, you know, they do something today and tomorrow they won't wake up and do it again, which is a bad thing. And uh, can you please um, tell us, um, like, have you ever participated in, uh, in a freestyle competition before? No. You've no, never, I so I, I yeah. think this, uh, the RISN uh, is, is the first provider yeah. for this competition. Yeah, it was my first time. Thank you so much. Um, considering that the WFFA, the World Freestyle Football Association, participated in, in judging the last competition, how was the judging experience? Uh, judges was so fair, was so fair, and they, they were like, supportive eh? they were supportive they always told us to to stay focused uh, to work hard to do what is on us to show the best version of ourselves yeah that's all okay okay did you did you thought that you would be among the, the top three no before the judging or did you have that belief that you can be the winner or the top three of the of the king of uh, freestyle football challenge when we started yeah yes i knew i knew and yeah. good enough i uh, you you were among yeah okay so uh going to our second question um how was the experience watching other freestyle videos from competitors across the four camps via the refugee sports network youtube channel well uh when uh, i viewed some videos from others candidates it's first of all pushing me to 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 work hard because i saw those guys was really very talented so it was my dad to to try to to be on top to be up to look forward yeah that's all okay did you copy some uh, some skills from them or did did they have some skills that amazed you or some skills that you learned from your candidates, your opponents? Yeah, yes, of course. I like, yeah. give us one example of uh, a candidate that amazed you in this uh, championship. Yeah, they're all amazing, but uh, especially the one from, the winner from Junior, Junior. A uh, Junior from yeah, Zaleka. Junior from Zaleka. Oh, yeah, wow, that, that was Reponse so, wow. from Zaleka. Reponse. Yeah, Reponse, congratulations, bro. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, um, can you tell us about um, how you felt when the Refugee Sports Network reached out to you about another freestyle championship where you would represent your refugee camp across the three camps? First time, first time, we, we just, you know, in the refugee camps, eh, things come and go, so we... We to Likamata Savile Muza ilkwa like like a joke. Some people say they are no, they are just just that just a scam. Eh? 
uh, they want just to get some videos from us and they took it somewhere whatever i don't i don't want i don't i don't know okay mm -hmm. but uh, when i got some two three videos and i got my first prize then i saw wow this is very real this is very amazing so i have to to work on it and to show the best of myself wow thank you so much and like can you tell us how you felt when they told you you are going to represent Chaka too? How did you feel into you? Did you how did you feel about that responsibility representing your refugee camp? It wasn't easy. It was a big responsibility responsibility, I'm sorry for me. Because representing a wool camp it's not easy. Uh, I felt like I'm gonna fail. Because I knew there somewhere in the world there are some good freestyle football. And, but what, I, what was on my mind it was that I can make it. I can make it. They have two legs. I have two legs. We all people, we, we all human. Eh? So uh, I keep that confidence in myself. So I, I go through and God helped, God did. Today, I'm a winner. Wow, congratulations once again. Yeah, and Refugee Sports Network is always here to congratulate you for what, for what you have achieved. Uh, actually, you are our first, first ever RISM Freestyle Football Championship winner. Congratulations once again. Yeah, Going to our fourth question, how was the experience using freestyle to promote hygiene? Like, I wash my hands before eating. Was it funny for you? And how did the other people who saw you doing the video, how did they react? Okay, for me it was funny. It was good. Because uh, personally, I used to wash my hand before eating. Uh, usually. Kubenye balukwa, like habajue kazi ya mikono. You must wash your hand before eating before doing something or after doing something i think balipata ile experience and i think for all people when you watch video ipapatia nabo some experience to develop their selves okay thank you and um if i may ask if i may ask tell us about your strategy and involvement in mobilizing your voters for real, I really worked hard. It wasn't easy to get votes, to get likes, to great to get subscribers. Uh, personally, I really, really worked hard. For example, uh, in the, in our camp, Chakatu Refugee Settlement, eh, there are some people when eh, just they don't care about anything because life uh, they got so many challenges in life and uh, they are like trauma <laughs> yeah uh, some of them i said so it's nothing easy to tell them to okay to share link with them and say go and like go and subscribe go and comment some of them can make it and some of them can just take it like a joke so i used to walk around all zones in my camp and uh, to mobi mobilize uh, people to start football refugee sport network nani ya mtandao so tuko ma competition tulikuwa ndani so wana bezea like yako kama but good news for me i was the top i was the winner sometimes i used to to put my money i buy data enough data then I go to someone, if you don't have data, then I share network. He goes to YouTube, he like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I think that was my Wow, story. that wasn't easy for real. That yeah. wasn't really easy. And uh, congratulations again. Thank you. How, how would you rate the voting? How, how would you rate the voting style incorporated by the Refugee Sports Network? Yeah, for me, I give five stars. I give five stars because uh, it's okay. You know, it's like an example. Eh? You can't have a talent, but if you don't work 
for it on on it it's just nothing that means that eh, you must work you for must it. work for your yeah, talent for, it, for your talent eh? wow and uh, how 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 like uh, how has the RSN the refugee sports network played a part in identifying and amplifying your talent through the two competitions i can say uh, w working hard is the main the, the main word i can say it's helped me to work hard because before before that i never knew that my talent can can just pay me yeah before i was just um, playing with a ball for nothing but right now i take it like a business like how let me explain myself uh i received my first prize i it, it was like a surprise for me because it's never happened before and that shows me that it, i'm talented yes of course i i may be talented and my talent can pay me or give me something more and more in next days to come yeah that motivates me so much and uh, i'm very thankful for it oh wow thank you so much we also thankful that you are now a very good working man and congratulations once again yeah, thank you. Uh, okay uh your talent has paid you twice yes as yeah. you have said and did you ever saw that coming did you ever saw that coming to you like before before the challenge started no 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 for real, for really no uh so it was a dream for you yeah but it happened it was a dream a really dream but it was happened yeah it was okay. a big surprise okay thank you so much yeah congratulations i may say congratulations more times and many times because you. you have done well and you are now our winner we consider you we won't leave you apart because you are now in our achievements and uh, you can give us our uh, you can give us your last words for refugee sports network the mic is yours mm. For real, I'm very, very, very thankful for Refugee Sport Network for all they done to promote us, to promote our skills, to promote our talents, and to show to the whole world that even refugees have their rights, have talents, uh, have something to show to the whole world. And uh, I'm very grateful for all people who got to who got uh, watched all videos and to all candidates for the one who didn't uh, won the competitions i have to to tell them to never give up uh, they have to work hard they have to believe in themselves to have confidence on them so uh, the main thing is that i'm so happy i'm so thankful thank you thank you so much thank you Thank you. Okay.